Okay, so next week off the shelf catch is known as the double arm drag down. Now, what happens is sometimes when you catch it, uh, it ends up in the crook of your arm, okay? So if I go for the shelf, I might lean and I might catch it here in the shelf, which is perfect for the shot put, which is the first one. So I lean up and I launch it upwards as fast as I can and send it trying. Sometimes you might catch it and it might end up on your shoulder a little bit. Now, that makes life a bit more tricky because I've got a lower. Okay, as he throws the kick, I might end up here. If that one ends up on my shoulder, I can't really shot put from this position. Okay, so what I do, Mike has got, Mike's got tight hamstrings. Okay, if I'm up tall, I put both hands on top of his knee, and I literally just drive downwards and sit down onto the floor. And it's a bit like a straight knee bar. Okay, so I get the catch, it ends up on my shoulder a little bit higher. So I link up my hands and I drop downwards. Okay. If your legs completely straight and you put pressure here and keep the foot up high, okay, their leg is straight, they're just going to end up falling straight down onto their butt. Okay? So let's try it again. Try it on the other side? Try it on that side, okay? Mike gives me the kick, I come up here and I catch it. See how it's a little bit higher on my shoulder now, okay? My hand is still protected and I've got this one over the top. So what I do, I put both hands on his knees and just try it straight down onto his X. Okay, it's going to to the floor, okay? So, one more, okay? This one's a double hand drive down, okay? Mike gives me a kick, what side do you do? Left side, okay, so as he kicks, I lean away, catch it. If you catch it in the crook of the elbow, just do the shot cut. It's just faster, easier, and you can send them backwards. Get it a little bit higher, yeah, onto my shoulder, okay? So if, you, if it does end up that a bit higher, you want to use this one. So as he kicks, I lean away, he goes to my shoulder, perfect. I just drive straight down onto his knee. And then you can look to pass and then hit on top if you're going to MMA, if you do. Tie boxing or move, so I, you know, tie boxing, kickboxing, or anything stand up, don't hit the floor. So, one more. Slow motion, then we'll do it fast, okay? Lean my head away, get a good shell catch. It ends up on my shoulder this time. So both hands go in front of his knee. Do this one, one second. I can't do it on his shin, it doesn't work. Put both hands here on top of his knee, stand up tall like I'm doing the upper part of the squat, and keep this tight here by the side of my head and keep this angle high. Then I just drop my pressure downwards on top of his knee, just on the lower part of his thighs. As I drive up, I push down, and he ends up falling down to the floor. Okay? So that's using this motion lock your hands and drop and drive. Okay? One more, a little bit faster. I go shelf, ends up on my shoulder, so I drop him down, straight to the floor. Boom, boom, boom. Okay?